for all my greatest friends, nicest people that you will ever meet in here are in the house tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you will hear the sounds of MC Lars tonight. <laughs> you will also hear the godfather of the record, my daddy. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be so great. Right now, quick story. So after I started making Mega Man rap songs, which sounds so crazy, um, I got this phone call from a company called Capcom. Yeah. Now, um, I wasn't so excited to get that phone call because they were like, did you know that it's illegal to do this? I was like, nope. I actually kind of had an idea. And they were like, so, how would you like to um, let us let everybody at Capcom hear this? And I was like, oh, really? Everybody? And I'm like, I don't know. It's like, we already did. <laughs> you want to know what they said? I was like, no. I'm going to tell you anyway. They said, we love it. Yeah. What? And then they asked me, how would you like to be the first rapper ever to be licensed by a major video game company? <laughs> I said, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> and they were like, for starters, it means we won't sue you. I was like, sign me up. <laughs> so to celebrate that, I made a song using a Capcom game that nobody had ever played. It's called Little Nemo, the Dream Master. <laughs> and this one here is a story about a boy with a vivid imagination. Because anything can happen in this world. So in the chorus, I'm gonna say, hey, hey, and I need you to say, all right. So that's how it goes. I'll say, hey, hey, you say, all right. Hey, hey. All right. Oh, that's great. One, two, three. Hey, hey, all right. Hey, hey, all right. Yeah. Hey, hey, all right. Yeah. Hey, hey, all right. Once upon a time before beats and the rhymes and before there was ever any random. There was a boy in the hood who always did good. The bullies of the block couldn't stand him. And on Christmas and birthdays, he got mad presents. So many he didn't know what to play with. He had Transformers, He-Man, Ninja Turtles, Star Wars. The G.I. Joes were his favorite. And he was so creative that if they didn't make the toy like he decided to create it, he put Storm Shadow's legs on Snake Eye's body and they popped. But then he duct taped it. He made spaceships while the big kids hung out on the block playing hide and seek and riding bikes. He used to try to get involved, but they told him, get lost. That's when they started getting hot at night. Then I heard he made a friend that was his nerdy as hell. When he had about all he could whip stare, he collected comics, cards, study through the Star Wars script like the back of his hand. And in school, he made A's and B's. He just complimented his amazing feats. And all the while he wondered, it felt so amazing, jeez. Why does nobody want to play with me? He said, hey, hey, all right, hey, hey, all right, hey, 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 all right, hey, 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 you're a dream right. master. Hey, hey, all right, hey, 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 all right, hey, hey, all right, yeah, hey, hey, all right. So to say this kid looked funny in school, that would be a colossal understatement. He had higher border pants, coat bottle frames, and a mouth full of orthodontic braces. His first girlfriend was named Christina Perez. Took her everywhere, and now the boy is so cool. But she dated him on a tear. Left him standing there without a clue. Man, kids can be so cruel. At the time when they couldn't love him any less. But the way they going and put the guy in any yes. Cause his mama felt this was the best way to keep him out of the street Though they were penniless Only child, she didn't want an empty mess And it's a healthier addiction than cigarettes So it began, how did he escape the scene? He sat in front of that screen and chased his dream We go, hey, hey, alright, yeah, hey, hey, alright, yes, hey Up game like a vacuum, and then they went off to college and searched for knowledge and the most the heart to make rap tunes. 
Vowed to stay true when he dropped his debut He did, he got his little name up And it was money in the bank But then he drew a blank every time his second LP came up And so he thought that the childhood And how they survived in such a wild hood Then he realized they didn't break him And whatever didn't break him, that's what made him So he decided to combine his love for his games and rap Open his soul and let him in he chopped up some 8-bit sounds, put it down, and now they call him Mega Rat! Names all over that internet, girls who didn't care were kind of interested. But the best part of the story comes at the end, that part hasn't been written yet. Come on, hey, hey, all right, hey.